Welcome back and yet another problem uh, circuit analysis problem using node voltage uh, method. So here's a circuit given to us uh, and we're asked to find out what is V1, V2 and V3. Well V3 or node 3 is fairly trivial. Uh, a reference node is given down here. So one side of the voltage source 10 volts it has, is at a reference node. So zero volts on this side that means this voltage is 10 volts. Let's also arbitrarily draw directions of currents uh, for different resistors here um, and we'll get started. So now that we have the arbitrary uh, directions of the current picked, uh, let's go ahead and apply Kirchhoff's current law. Uh, Kirchhoff's current law at node 1 and node 2 right here. So Kirchhoff's current law at node 1 basically leads us to the total current going into that node is 1 amps and the total coming out of that node is I1 and I2 so we get I1 plus I2 equals 1. I1 starts at V1 and ends at V2 through the 5 ohm resistor so it's V1 minus V2 divided by 5 and I2 is starts at V1 ends at 10 volts so V1 minus 10 divided by 2 and that is all equal to 1. So let's group all the V1s and the V2s together like we've been doing for the other problems and this is what we end up with. Similarly, let's apply Kirchhoff's current law, KCL, at node V2. So if I apply current Kirchhoff's law at node V2 right here, let's see the, all the currents coming in. The currents coming in are I3, so we have I3 coming in. We have I1 coming into the node and I4 is exiting the node. So Kirchhoff's current law at node V2 says I1 plus I3 equals I4. Now I1 again starts at V1, ends at V2 through the 5 ohm resistor. So we have V1 minus V2 divided by 5. I3 starts at 10 volts and ends at V2 through the 10 ohm. So it's 10 minus V2 divided by 10. And I4 starts at V2, ends at the reference node. So V2 minus 0 divided by 5 or simply V2 over 5. So that's what we get. Now again, what we'll do is we'll try to group V1 and V2 uh, coefficients just like this, and we end up with this. Now we've been practicing writing these linear expressions as matrix uh, multiplication and using MATLAB to solve them. So let's do that same thing again. So using these two linear expressions, let's write the matrix here. So we have the coefficient of V1 from the first expression. Coefficient from V, sorry, this would be V2. So coefficients of V2, V2 from the second, uh, uh, sorry. So here's a coefficient of V1 from this expression. Here's a coefficient of V2 from the first expression. And the right hand side is equal to 6. Similarly, we have V1 right here, V2 right here equals negative 1. Okay, so we have V1, V2 equals negative 1. So we have all of that all set. So let's move on. So we'll let's call this R. We'll call this R and we'll write it in MATLAB as follows. We'll enter that in MATLAB. Okay, if I hit enter in MATLAB, I end up with that matrix right there for this matrix that I call an R. Now we'll call this matrix Y. So let's call this matrix Y. So Y is 6 semicolon negative 1 in MATLAB and that shows us that. Now in order to calculate V, we'll call this V matrix. V can be calculated by saying inverse of R times Y or alternatively we can say R backslash Y. So and V is 10.3 and uh, 6.12. So the first one is V1 and the second one is V2. So we've calculated the values of V1 and V2 as 10.3 and 6.13 volts. So this problem started out by saying what's a voltage node at V1 and volt V2 and we've gone through the process and calculated that using Kirchhoff's uh, current law at nodes V1 and V2 applying the node voltage analysis method, taking the expressions, putting it as a matrix, and using MATLAB to solve this.